now let us see the basic formulas basic formulas for the uh, sums we need to we need these formulas okay the important formulas the first one is a plus b whole square we all know the basic formula a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab then the next one is a minus b whole square okay we all know there is a minus symbol in it so here we have to put minus a square plus b square minus 2ab then a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square equal to 2 into a square plus b square the third formula is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square equal to 2 into a square plus b square okay then the fourth one a plus b whole square minus okay here plus here minus then a minus b whole square equal to the answer is 4 in 4 a b okay the answer is 4 a b we have to see the these two formulas combinedly plus the answer is 2 into a square plus b square these two formula combined in the minus sign the answer is 4 a b then a plus b whole cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b plus a plus into a plus b then a minus b whole cube equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b into a minus b okay now we can see a squared minus b squared equal to a plus b into a minus b we can also use these formulas for the numerical values also we can see here um, 4a plus 4b with the variables and constants then a plus b the whole squared equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a okay then the ninth one a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b into a squared plus b squared minus a b then a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b a squared plus b squared plus a b okay a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c equal to a plus b plus c into a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus a b minus b c minus c a then the 12th one in this uh, formula if you are having a plus b plus c equal to 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 3 a b c okay these are the formulas needed for the uh, bank exams problems okay now the next part is the divisibility of the digits okay divisibility or the digits they can give some digit is the digit is divisible by 3 is divisible by 11 or divisible by 9 okay for that we have to know the rules for the divisibility okay let us see the rules divisibility of the digits okay divisibility of we i have written the numbers here the rules for these numbers if the number is divided by by 2 okay we have to check the number ends with 0 2 4 6 8 okay if the number ends with 0 2 4 6 8 then the number is we can see then the number is easily divisible by 2 then for 3 divisibility test is sum of the digits divisible by 3 we have to sum all these digits that is why i have given the example 695421 we have to add these digits the sum the answer is 27 okay the answer is 27 we can easily say 27 is divisible by 3 okay so this digit is divisible by 3 then for the divisibility of 4 last two digits divisible by 4 
we have to see don't see the other digits okay we have to see the last two digit if the digits divisible by 4 then the number fully divisible by 4 see here 6 8 7 7 3 2 okay 3 2 is divisible by 4 so this number is divisible by 4 then for 5 the divisibility test is when unit digit is 0 or 5 okay we can easily say if the digits ends with 0 or the digits ends with 5 we can say this is divisible by 5 then for the divisibility of 6 okay for the divisibility of 6 we can see divisibility of 6 it is divisible by 3 and 2 okay 3 and 2 if the digit is divisible by 3 and 2 then the digit divisible by 6 for 7 okay for there is no divisible for 7 we do not have the uh, similar rules for these digits we have to split those digits in a three digit manner then add and subtract if the answer is 0 then it is divisible by 7 no need to write in this okay 7 is not needed for this test then 8 last three digit is divisible by 8 if you see the number note the last two digit if the digit is divisible by 8 then the digits fully divisible by 8 then 9 sum of the digits divisible by 9 sum of the digit is divisible by 9 then we can see say the digit is divisible by 9 then 10 we can easily say ends with 0 always divisible by 10 okay if it ends with 5 then only it is divisible by 5 then for the 11 sum of the digits in odd place okay sum of the digits in odd place and sum of the digits minus sum of the digits even place okay we have to add sum of the digits in odd place and sum of the digits in even even place if, if it is the answer it is divisible by 11 then the number is divisible by 11 okay these are the rules we have to memorize we have to memorize the important formula and these rules for the uh, divisibility okay divisibility of numbers then only we can easily uh, strike out the uh, sums in the simplification algebra etc okay